Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on buoyancy and flotation. So first I will read what is the given problem. A stone weighs 392.4 Newton in air and 196.2 Newton in water. Compute the volume of stone and its specific gravity. So this was the given question. Now we have to draw the diagram as per the given data. So if we observe the weight of stone in air is given that is W is equal to 392.4 Newton. Now this weight W is acting in vertically downward direction through the center of gravity point. So here this is the diagram. Now we will move for the weight of stone in water. So when this stone is immersed into water, we have to draw the diagram. So we know that weight is acting in vertically downward direction through this point G. And then here through this point D, the point B, that is the center of buoyancy, there is buoyantic force FB that is acting through this point B in upward direction. So what is happening both are in opposite direction that is W and this FB are in opposite direction and that's why here the weight is weight of stone is equal to 196.2 Newton. So from this diagram we can say that W minus FB which is equal to 196.2 Newton because this is the equilibrium position of this stone. So we have to write this equation now we know what is w so when there is only weight w acting in downward direction then w is equal to 392.4 so we have to put the value of w now here fb is unknown so how to calculate fb we can transfer this fb to the right hand side and 196.2 to the left hand side so what is the fb that is again 196.2 newton so this is the Biontic force FB. Now we know that what is the rule? That is the biontic force FB which is equal to weight of water displaced. So we can find out what is the weight of water displaced that is 196.2 Newton. So how to define this weight of water? So we know that weight of water means rho into G into volume of water displaced. So, rho means 1000, g means 9.81 multiplied by volume of water. So, what is the volume of water? That means we have to put all the values, then volume of water displaced is equal to 1 by 50 meter cube. So, we have to give the unit meter cube, this is the standard unit. So, this volume of water displaced which is equal to volume of stone. So, what is the volume of stone? So, which is equal to 1.50 meter cube. Now again, what is the next question? So next question, that means we have to calculate what is the specific gravity of stone. So for that, we have to write the formula for specific gravity. That is density of stone by density of water. So we don't know what is the density of stone. But what is the density of water? That is 1000. So how to calculate the density of stone? So density of stone is equal to mass by volume. So what is the mass of this stone? So mass of this stone. So if we observe, we know what is the weight of stone. So we know. W is equal to mg. So what is this mass of stone that is W by g. So we have to put here 392.4 divided by 9.81 that is 40 kilogram. So when we get this mass then what is the volume of stone. So volume of stone that is 1 by 50 meter cube. So again we have to put here 1 by 50 and which is equal to 2000 kilogram per meter cube that is the density of stone. So when we put here the value of density of stone then 2000 by 1000 which is equal to 2 and this is the answer.